Let us light a candle and begin with the five wounds prayer of Jesus while taking refuge on the foot of the cross. We kiss the wound of your sacred left hand with sorrow deep and true. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We kiss the wound of your sacred right hand with sorrow deep and true. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We kiss the wound of your sacred left foot with sorrow deep and true. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We kiss the wound of your sacred right foot with sorrow deep and true. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We kiss the wound of your sacred side with sorrow deep and true. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We pray for the intentions of our Blessed Mother, and we also ask her for graces for each of our personal intentions. The most important thing is to live every step of this novena with a generous loving heart, with a living faith, and a deep recollection. We take a moment to acknowledge our faults and ask God's forgiveness. My God, I'm very sorry for offending you because you are infinitely good, infinitely kind, and you hate sin. Forgive me by the merits of Jesus Christ, my Savior. I resolve by your holy grace not to offend you and to do penance. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, come by means of the power, the flame of love of the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Come, Holy Spirit, come by means of the power of the flame of love of the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Come, Holy Spirit, come by means of the power of the flame of love of the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Spreading the flame of love of Mary's Immaculate Heart. The flame of love is a grace that Our Lady obtained from the Heavenly Father on the merits of Jesus' holy wounds. Its effect is to blind Satan, preventing him from leading souls to sin. The Virgin Mary asks us to help her by spreading her flame of love throughout the world. She expects an urgent and generous response from each of her children. To whom do you think will I ask to render an account for having set up obstacles? If someone among you was to set up obstacles, defend my flame of love with all your might. You must dedicate yourselves to blind Satan. The coordinated forces of the entire world are necessary to accomplish this. Do not delay because someday you will be called to account for the work entrusted to you for the fate of a multitude of souls. I do not want even one soul damned. Satan will be blinded inasmuch as you work against him. I assure you, my little one, that I have never before given into your hands such a powerful force of grace, the burning flame of the love of my heart. Ever since the Word became flesh, I have not undertaken a greater movement than the flame of love of my heart who rushes to you. Until now, nothing could blind Satan as much, and it is up to you not to reject them, for this rejection would simply spell disaster. Do we give our best by collaborating with the Flame of Love movement to fulfill the mission that the Virgin Mary has entrusted to us? What are we actually doing to make known the Flame of Love of the Immaculate Heart of Mary and to offer comfort to our brothers and sisters in need? By our union with Jesus, the Flame of Love, we become the Flame of Love ourselves so that, above all, our example will make known the movement of the flame of love and encourage as many people as possible to join it. 
Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. O glorious Prince Saint Michael, Chief and Commander of the Heavenly Hosts, Guardian of Souls, Vanquisher of Rebel Spirits, Servant in the House of the Divine King, in our Admirable Conductor, you who shine with excellence and superhuman virtue, deliver us from all evil, who turn to you with confidence and enable us by your gracious protection to serve God more and more faithfully every day. Amen. O God, who by your ineffable providence has deigned to choose Saint Joseph as the husband of your most holy mother, grant us, we ask you, that we may have for an intercessor in heaven the one we venerate as protector on earth. Amen. Saint Joseph, you sought refuge for the Blessed Virgin in Bethlehem. Help us to seek refuge for her flame of love in the hearts of all people. Amen. I give and consecrate to the sacred heart of our Lord Jesus Christ, my person, my life, my actions, my pains and sufferings, so that I may be unwilling to make use of any part of my being, save to honor, love, and glorify the Sacred Heart. It is my unchanging intention to be all His, and to do all for love of Him. I renounce at the same time with all my heart whatever can displease Him. I therefore take you, O Sacred Heart, for the only object of my love, the protector of my life, the pledge of my salvation, the remedy of my weakness and inconstancy, the atonement for the faults of my life, and the secure refuge at the hour of my death. Be then, O heart of goodness, my justification before God the Father, and turn away from me the punishment of his just anger. O heart of love, I put my confidence in you, because I fear everything from my own sinfulness and weakness. I hope for all things from your mercy and generosity. Destroy in me all that can displease or resist your holy will. Let your pure love impress you so deeply upon my heart that I may never forget you or be separated from you. May my name, by your loving kindness, be written in you because in you I desire to place all my happiness and all my glory in living and dying in very bondage to you. O Immaculate Heart of Mary, ever filled with kindness, show us your love. May the flame of love of your heart descend upon all men. We love you with all that we are. Instill true love in our hearts that we may have toward you an unceasing devotion. O Mary, who art meek and humble of heart, remember us when we are in a state of sin. By means of your mother and immaculate heart, heal us from all our spiritual ailments and deficiencies. Grant that we may always seek the kindness of your motherly heart and be converted by your flame of love. Amen. Blessed Virgin Mary, our Mother, your love of God and your love for us, your children, is such that you offer us to your divine Son, Jesus, on the cross, to obtain forgiveness for our sins from the Eternal Father, and thus obtain our salvation, and for anyone believing in Jesus, not to perish, but obtain eternal life. It is with filial trust that we beseech you, Blessed Mother, with the flame of love of your Immaculate Heart and through the Holy Spirit to inflame in our hearts 
the fire of a perfect love for God and all men. Help us to spread this holy flame to all people of good will, so that the flame of love may extinguish the fires of hate all over the world, and Jesus, the Prince of Peace, may be our King, front and center in every heart, and the sacrament of his love on the throne of our altars. Amen. I made this prayer entirely mine. He meditated on it so many times with me, explaining that these were his eternal desires. He taught me this prayer so that I would teach it to others. Let us make our own his eternal thoughts, his ardent desires, with all our strength and with all our spirit. My adorable Jesus, May our feet journey together. May our hands gather in unity. May our hearts beat in unison. May our souls be in harmony. May our thoughts be as one. May our ears listen to the silence together. May our glances profoundly penetrate each other. May our lips pray together to gain mercy from the Eternal Father. We kiss the wound of your sacred left hand with sorrow deep and true. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We kiss the wound of your sacred right hand with sorrow deep and true. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We kiss the wound of your sacred left foot with sorrow deep and true. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We kiss the wound of your sacred right foot with sorrow deep and true. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We kiss the wound of your sacred side with sorrow deep and true. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>